So we're here with Move and See here at CES. Who are you? I'm Stefan from Move and See, and I'm here to introduce a Pixio. So what is going on here? Uh, Pixio is the first robot cameraman in the world to work indoor and outdoor. So it will be. So the camera moves like this? Yeah, we'll be tracking you all the way around 360 degrees endless any camera any camera as any far camera. as yeah as far as you have the uh, direct control from outside like here how does it work the control from outside normally is well, that standard yeah the, the the robot will be tracking this device this tag and it will be moving so it will know the distance between this tag and the robot and it will know when to zoom and when to de-zoom automatically. So this standard for controlling, what is this? That's a standard um, multi, they call that multi, multi socket. It's on Sony. On Sony. On Sony they call it multi. Panasonic. On Panasonic, Canon and all that. JVC. Yeah. All the, the consumer camera have this? Yes. Well, so, yeah. The only thing is Sony has this socket uh, at very low price. I mean, as far as you buy a Sony, even a cheap, like $300 camera, camcorder, yeah. you got this socket. If you want to have the same socket for other brands, you may need to buy it more expensive camcorder. But is that the socket that's used for, uh, for charging also? What is it? No, it is, it's uh, externalization of the rec and, and uh, the zooming control. But it looks like micro USB. Yes, but it's not. So, is it always micro USB? No, it's not. Or do you have micro. different cables for different cameras? We can have different cables for different cameras, but the most used is this one, which is not. Looks like a, a micro USB, but it's not. All right. So, so that means you have a robot in here. Yeah. What kind of robot? It's a radar technology. It's it's an electronic algorithm. And what is this for? Antennas. Antennas for the radar. For the radar. And it, then it can localize this one precisely how far? It goes up to 350 feet. Is that something like 100 meters? Or? Yes. A little more than 100 meters. And uh, how much is the battery in here? How long? How long is uh, it's a four hours autonomy. And then you charge it with a micro USB? No, we charge it. Uh, on a wireless device. We just so you just put it on something? Yes. And um, you will see on the video. Then let's see some examples over here. Um, so, it could be skateboarders, it could be tennis, it could be horse, football, soccer, baseball, uh, basketball, handball, all the sports as far as you, you need to be to film and you need you want to have a video of what you are doing it can be conferences theater uh, it can be a church we have required from church events uh, ceremonies anything we had uh, three guys today with uh, a request for education so it really opens a market to anything when it will replace someone holding a camera Just putting a camera with a zoom out is not cool. You want to be close to the action, right? Yeah, so that's yeah. why that's what you solve. People sometimes they put a camera far away to, to cover what they do, but it looks like bad, right? You want to have a, a, like a Eurosport experience, which is what that's they do. That's what we try to do. That's why here you can choose a zoom plus or minus. You USA Today. choose a zoom you want yourself. Before you go, start, yeah. And after that, it will always keep you the same size in the frame, even if you go 100 feet away. And that means if you have a nice zoom camera, it's great. Yep. And uh, it just records the whole thing because you push the record button. You press the record button here when you are ready to be filmed. And do you know when it's recording? There's a light or no? Yeah, we tell you there's a light here. The little blinking light or something? It, was, it will be blinking when it's not recording and will be fixed when it will be recording. So this is kind of awesome. Yeah, are, it you, is. are you launched? Uh, we launched it uh, in, on 20th of January on an Indiegogo campaign, uh, starting price at 4.49 US dollars. For the whole robot? For the whole robot and the tag with all the chargers, everything. After that, 
people are free to choose the camera they want to put on and the tripod they want. You'll to have use. a list of compatible cameras. Exactly. And if not, if your camera is not in, you just have to send us an email. We tell you if it's compatible or not. That's cool. And it uh, works for the small ones. Yes. The only thing it also is. Also has a control. No. 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 Uh, action cams like GoPro, for example, they don't have uh, zoom. A zoom. They only have a wide angle, but just yeah. people still use it well. Well, I prefer the zoom. Ah, oh, yeah, definitely. That's why we, we made the, this. So what's your background? Oh, my background uh, was uh, much more like international uh, development of uh, different French companies. Like uh, some technology stuff? Yes, always technology. So since when was this idea come up and when is it? reach this stage how long did it take to make it oh the company was created in 2011 with a first robot working only outdoor tracking you to 3,000 feet do what uh, track a sportsman like uh, surfers and kite surfers that's what we did tracking, tracking without a camera or? yeah filming you at, uh, already yeah already this is 2011 yes so you already have something like this on the market yes on the market since the last two years and we sell them uh, worldwide but we had so many requests, people telling us, okay, let's say I'm playing tennis outside during the summer, during winter I'm inside, so I want to use that inside. But GPS technology needs to see the sky to get the satellites and your position. So you cannot use it here, for example, you cannot use it. So that's why we came up with this model, Pixio. So this is uh, radar and not only GP, uh, GPS like your previous version. How much is the previous version on the market for? On the market it's uh, around uh, 1400. It's much more expensive because our focus was more on uh, professionals or semi-professionals users. So uh, you have some kind of uh, famous or really talented sports people using the previous version? Yeah. Football we... players or something? Not, not football players, but uh, we have a lot of uh, international uh, horse riders, uh, kite surfers, with the world champion of the winter, for example, a French guy is using and training alone thanks to our system, because he doesn't need a cameraman to film. Just go in the water and practice, and see his video after that, and say, okay, here I was good, here I was not good. It's cheaper than a cameraman. Yes. So how about the version that has multi-camera angles? Automatically edits between the two. That's too much, right? But sorry. I'd like to have multiple cameras from different angles. Yeah, you can. Yes, yeah, please. But can you use one tracker for two? I don't either. Either you can have one tracker with many cameras, or you can have one camera with 16 trackers like this. So then it zooms out to cover everybody. No. The last guy who wants to be filmed press the button and we call the robot. <laughs> so you can have many players, or you can have also remote control, the coach, let's say the coach has a remote control, all the trainings have this, and you can choose now I want to film the guys number 3, now number 11, and you press the buttons and the robot will fix directly. What is that remote control for the coach? Is it a different product? Yes. Different product. How does it look like? I don't have it here, it's just gone is with the other thing? interview. It's a bigger thing with many buttons? Yes. Up to 16. Yes. All right. So uh, it's, it's too complicated to do a version that automatically tracks people moving without the tracker, right? Yes. Uh, up to date. Uh, what yes. would be needed for that? Uh, new technology development, I guess. Something else? Yes. But uh, that's cool. So hopefully you'll sell millions of these. Uh, we hope so.